Hey guys, Thunder E here, and today I have the Red Magic 9S Pro. This is the latest gaming phone from Red Magic, and you know they make some really stellar devices. So we had to check this out. It's available now, starting price is 649, and it comes with a ton of really impressive specs. So let's start off with the hardware. Now you can get a bunch of color variants, and this is the one price of 649, and it goes up in price with the RAM and all that kind of fun stuff, right? But this right here has this nice reflective black surface here. And as you can see, when you move up to the top, you do have your cameras, your two cameras there with your ultra wide as well as also your main sensor. And then we have, of course, the built-in cooling fan, which you expect from every Red Magic device. And as you know, you, that fan lights up and it has exhaust on either side of the device, which is pretty cool. Now, one thing you notice at the bottom right-hand corner of the device, when you're actually holding the phone this way, is a 9S logo. And it only lights up when you're gaming, which is pretty cool and it has different colors. Now, I have a feeling that it changes colors depending on the temperature, but that's just me guessing. I can actually check it out while I'm gaming. You know, you can't do that, but you get the idea. Now, the form factor is this very nice rectangular shape that stands on its own on the table, which is pretty nice. At the very bottom, a USB Type-C port, which offers you 80 watt charging, about 35 minutes to fully charge. And what are you charging here? A 6,500 milliamp battery, which is great, because for gaming needs and how you can push this device, you need as much battery power as possible. Now, you also do have gaming pass-through where you can actually use just the power directly from your device to game, which is also a very nice feature. Now, the part you expect is on the right-hand side. This is where you have the plethora of your controls. You have your volume rocker, a power button, that red slider, which I used at the very beginning. That, of course, is a slider to go into your Red Magic Gaming Zone, allowing you to customize everything from the games, how you look at them, some of the different plugins you can download, uh, set up the device the way you want to for your gaming needs. Then, on either side of the uh, right-hand side, you have the top or the bottom, you have your touch sensitive triggers, which kind of color coded blue or red. And this is where all that gaming happens. When you're playing any type of shooter, you can get into the action quickly and it feels like every red magic phone, which is great. And then we have a display. It's a lovely display, 6.8 inches, 120 Hertz refresh rate, maximum uh, nit brightness is 1600 nits. Uh, you have a resolution of 2480 by 1116. And you also have a PWM dimming of 2,160 Hertz. So this thing has really nice refresh rate. Also touch sampling rate of 520, super smooth. When you're sliding your hand to game, it feels very comfortable. So it's a gaming phone. It's powered by the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 chipset with a GPU of a clock to one gigahertz, which is nice to see. But what do we get from that in terms of benchmarks and gaming performance? So let's take a look and compare it to the Red Magic 9 Pro versus the Red Magic 9S Pro. I know, very similar names, but if we look at them side by side, we can see that the Red Magic 9 Pro had better CPU scores over the Red Magic uh, 9S Pro. But when we go to GPU, you can see a huge improvement in GPU scores for the Red Magic uh, 9S Pro. And that's where, of course, some of that performance you're gonna be seeing while gaming. And what games are we going to play? So we're playing, of course, Call of Duty uh, Mobile, which is a very easy benchmark to see. Uh, we're also gonna be playing PUBG Mobile, which we're playing at 120 frames per second. Then, of course, we're playing Call of Duty Warzone. We're playing, of course, um, then the next game is Genshin Impact. And finally, a new game is the new Metal, Metal Slug game. So we can see something different here. So we'll start off with some of the gameplay with, with Call of Duty Mobile and we'll move forward.
Okay, so gaming on this is quite impressive. It handled all the games quite effectively. It was cool to play PUBG Mobile at ultra extreme, giving us 120 frames per second. Call of Duty uh, Mobile handled that e with ease. One thing to know with Genshin Impact is that it ran 60 frames per second steady on that. And that's something also where they also mentioned the temperatures would be above 39 uh, degrees uh, Celsius. We got about 40 to 41, which is in line. And I definitely like that when playing Genshin Impact. And then looking at Metal Slug, that handled pretty well, 60 frames per second. The game was smooth. That's a fun, fun game to play, honestly. Took me back to my old, you know, shoot em up days. Uh, I have to play that game more. Warzone, this is something very interesting here. This is where we saw frame rates about 45 frames per second, but this is just at the highest level currently called Rise. And this was having the CPU set at the Rise uh, setting, which is the second highest setting for this. Now, uh, while playing at Rise, we got about 115 degrees, which is running really hot, especially for the fact that we weren't maxing out that FPS performance. So, of course, this is a Red Magic phone, and we have another setting called the Diablo setting, which is the highest uh, overclock setting you can push this device to. We did that, we're able to get up to 90 frames per second in Call of Duty uh, Warzone, which was impressive, which also meant that my fingers were burning while game playing this game. Uh, I got temperatures up to about 117 uh, degrees Fahrenheit, about 47 degrees Celsius there. So this was running really hot. Now, I expected better cooling from the internal cooling for this, but again, that overclocked GPU might actually add to that situation which brings us, of course, to the cooler, uh, the new cooler that they have from Red Magic. I believe it's a Cooler 5, if I'm not mistaken. Um, this was a huge help, especially playing Call of Duty Warzone, sticking onto the back. Now, the one thing I will mention about this cooler is that it works really well, right? It's fantastic. It dropped the temperatures down from 115 to about 105. So honestly, that's, that's huge. But the fact that this is a Red Magic cooler and it also is a MagSafe cooler and there is no MagSafe connection on the device was a big bummer. Yes, there's an, uh, um, there's an included sticker with uh, sticker plate with MagSafe that you can actually use. But on the iPhone, I can easily connect this to it, but I can't connect it to a, Ma to a Red Magic phone, which doesn't make any sense to me. But I do love the performance of this device overall. I think this is a solid offering, but not too much from the original Red Magic 9 Pro. So I'm not sure who this is exactly for, just because that the overclock GPU will help with one game like Call of Duty Warzone, but every other game, especially Genshin Impact, with a lot of you play, runs absolutely well, 60 frames per second uh, on there. So tell me what you guys think. Are you interested in the Red Magic 9S Pro? Do you think it's worth it? Is it time for you to upgrade maybe from a Red Magic 8? Or do you think this is a huge improvement from the Red Magic 9 Pro from earlier this year? That's the tough question here that we have to face, but I do like the performance. Uh, that heating though is something that has to be dealt with and kind of proves the point that internal cooling can only go so far. Something like this with an external cooler will do the most for you. So, if you have any questions or any comments, let me know. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and always enjoy your entertainment.